Hi, my name is Daniel Jacobson. I make music as Zoid, and I'm just about to release an album called Zongs. Here it is. Give us that zimmy. This is the album. It's called Zongs. Features eight tracks, each one with a different singer. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So the tracks mostly started life here in my studio, and it was created over a couple of years when we had a lot of lockdowns here, so mostly it was done remotely. Um, I'll go through the, the track list and tell you a little bit about who's on each track, a lot of collaborations on this album. So track one is If There Were Words, a song that, that I wrote about eight years ago. And in 2020, I was looking for someone to record this song. And one of my students at the time, so I run a guitar school here in Dublin, Ireland. And one of my bass students, Lauren, was a great singer. And I asked her to record the song, and she did. We recorded it here on an SM58. Basic setup, and uh, turned out great. Second song is Fine Life. That one features an amazing jazz singer called Aoife Doyle, who I've known for a long time as we were both in the same school together, a few years apart though. And she is also, she's releasing her own album shortly, Aoife Doyle, check it out. Really good songwriter and amazing singer. And then the third track, Looking in the Rain, features a friend of mine from Poland, Dorota Kinczewska. We did that remotely, she was in Poland. I sent her a track, she sent me back the melody and the chords, or sorry, the melody with the lyrics. She uh, wrote the lyrics based on a couple of friends of hers were fighting, who'd been in a relationship for a long time. But they're, so they're about that, but they're kind of hopeful lyrics, lovely lyrics. Beautiful melody, it's a jazzy song. Then Wish You is a song featuring Sosa, Igadara O'Brien, a really great vocalist here in Dublin, and actor too, and film producer now. So look out for her stuff. Sometimes features my old friend Jenna Harris and collaborator. We've been we've knew, known each other since we were about 13. We met in school and we've been in our first band together and played loads of music together, and written loads of music together. I love sometimes. I wrote the lyrics for that. I sent them to her with the beat and she came up with the melody and moved the lyrics around a little bit. And uh, also on that track, we have Ashling Ennis on harp, which is a beautiful, um, beautiful extra element in the track. And also the pots and pans sample is 20 years old. Me and my friend Nick Ruff playing pots and pans in Raheem. The next track is Static, featuring Suzanne Savage, an amazing singer, another amazing singer from Belfast. Originally, she's classically trained and she sings jazz as well and writes her own stuff. Suzanne Savage. Check her out for sure. That song, I sent her the track. I, she agreed to collaborate on the track. I sent her a track a couple of days later and she sent me back a couple of days after that a melody with lyrics that she had based on, I believe, a recent breakup. That seems to be a hot topic for lyrics, breaking up. But that was uh, her, she recorded it on a Samsung phone and sent me the, the file, just of the vocals from her phone. And it sounded so good, I didn't even release it with the phone vocals. But I did actually get convinced by my friend Les to uh, re-record. So Suzanne went into Les's studio, Arid in Dublin, recorded it on proper mics and preamps and all that, and it came out really beautiful. And Dad re-recorded it, and Les mixed that one. And also Wish You, actually, Les mixed Wish You as well. I'll tell you about the rest of the post-production and stuff at the end. What Has It Come? Featuring Sio, a very mysterious singer, producer, artist, who was, was part Irish, lived in Dublin for a while, she's not even in Ireland anymore as far as I know, but she does release music, comp.com Amazing music, check her out, really glad she agreed to collaborate on the track, I love that track, it's one of my favourite on the album, was entering the beach, sent me back the parts of her voice that she recorded in one night, came up with them and recorded them in one night. 
And then what did they know? I collaborated on that for a few weeks with Miriam Ingram. We bounced files back and forth. Miriam's an amazing singer. Another one, singer, songwriter. She does her own stuff, miriamingram.bandcamp.com. Check her stuff out. It's great. She's like the Irish Kate Bush in a way. Loads of harmonies and really interesting singing. We're going to do more stuff. And that is all the singers on the album. And what did they know? The last one, uh, there's a cello part. If you listen carefully, you can hear cello part by Kate Ellis. One of the best cellist player, cello players in Ireland. But she might be back in the UK now. And uh, after I recorded all the tracks and the singers recorded their parts and had all the parts and I was mixing them, then I got Liam Grant to master the album. And during that process, we really, really remixed and co-produced quite a few of the tracks. We took everything apart, he mixed the stems. We did a lot more than just mastering it. The album sounds the way it does. It's the lead and some part to less. That is, there's also some guitar parts on there not by me but by Jake Curran he's a great guitar player and he did some guitar parts on Static and Wish You and of course Christopher Engel saxophone solo on Wish You brilliant. that's Zimmy the robot Zimmy is in the video for Wish You and that is about everything on Zong that's how I made it there's like a few synths behind me there on the album this uh, Euro rack setup, basically mostly drum machine that is on a few a few tracks on the album. So check it out. Hope you enjoy it. And thanks, Music of the Future, for having.